I wanted to ask Balki, but he left. Uh, but Vikram, you can answer. Does the creativity suffering? Is creativity suffering because of too much of emphasis on data, uh, programmatic advertising, and and performance marketing, where in two seconds ad, two second view is counted as an ad. <laughs> So if, if, if you have to show something in, in two seconds or six seconds, then I do not know what creativity we'll be talking about. Uh, friends, uh, fellow industry peer, distinguished guests out here, colleagues, uh, a very warm good evening to you. Uh, I have been voicing about this since last one month. Uh, I spoke also on this subject in DNPA. Those of you who attended it, please pardon me for this. Uh, I can say it clearly, it is one of those days where it is not easy to read the room. While we are here to emphasize various truths about the current media landscape, let me start by saying that first of all, what Sam said, what Mr. Kosla said, that television is here to stay. Where in the world you'll get in $3, 300 channels to watch every single month, right? And India, which has still media dark areas where people are still growing, what Piyush Goel told me once, that once uh, electricity is supplied in a household, to supply the, for, the, for the pumping for the water for agricultural areas, the first thing that they do, they buy a TV set. And in, in, they, they, they put a plug for the, for the pumping, but instead of putting the pump there, they first buy a TV set and put in there. Now the same guys are buying connected devices which we are call, going to talk about in this. So television is here going to stay and its impact will remain unparalleled. And how it is going to be, uh, We'll talk about it. In the big tech world of Gamma, which we famously call Google, Apple, Meta, and, and Amazon, TV still controls more mind than what digital world may have, and digital world, which has so many platforms, uh, is, and as the digital world is finding to its own peril, the storyteller of the future is going to be increasingly platform agnostic. If one platform loses its relevance, there is another one out there. Which is why it is important to remember that though the internet uh, connects with staggering about 500, 10 million plus uh, viewers monthly, television is still about 843 million as per the Comscore. TV's right now is generating a colossal about 1.5 billion impressions annually and a standstill. I'm deliberately not quoting Vikram Bach's figure. It is still Comscore. The digital realm has such an irresistible allure that I agree uh, with this, that a digital presence is no longer a luxury but a necessity for most brands. However, the established brands, digital serves as a supplementary tool rather than a game changer. If I, and it came out in Sam's presentation also, that at the forefront of the television advertising today, industry titans like Reckitt, HUL, PNG, Godrej, Coke, Colgate, Wipro, Reliance, and Nation Paints reign supreme. While they explore the digital sphere, their commitment to television remains unwavering. A few brands even today, and us in news business work on those brands a lot, consider TV as the only lifeline remaining which is conspicuously absent in the digital era. Winnie Cosmetics, for example, Agrotech Foods, Sona Biscuits, Raja Udyog, these are Indian companies when they start advertising and our team in news companies go out to smaller towns and cities and talk to these manufacturers and bring them into advertising fold. Sam, if you remember, me and you worked together with Fiki to educate the value of advertising in small towns and we must have brought more than 200 clients into advertising fold during those campaigns in three months. So talking about brands, cast your mind back to late 90s and early 2000 when Whirlpool actually surged ahead, overshadowing stalwarts like Godrej, just through their thunderous presence on the TV screens. Patanjali, all of us admit that, is a brand built largely over TV. Largely what? It is, was only on TV for many years before they ventured into anything else. There are numerous brands which we, you know, you may know because of TV, it must be flat out honest, let me say, Saria category or the building material category, what we call, is largely built by television. In fact, uh, 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 one Saria client start advertising, another Saria client join in, and there are you'll find a lot of these Saria clients buying laptops, branding to ad bands to everything on television channel. To reaffirm my point, with the growth of digital TV, is still the most affordable source of media. 
and it is grossly enterprised. The reach is, of course, spans uh, symmetrical and for brands and advertising budget for TV is still highly valued proposition. It is, uh, as per the last Pitch Madison advertising report, which Sam, you presented, traditional media ad share was about 62% in 2022, and absolute terms grew over by 14%. Uh, TV still was supreme. 2023 also mentioned split of traditional of digital ad was 55,000 crore to 34,000 crore. So what is causing this disruption in the whole business of creativity, what Balki also talked about? Due to COVID pandemic, significant transformation has happened in our industry, transition from traditional platform to digital media. And you may say that the news viewership is digressing or moving to YouTube or Meta or any other platform, but we all know that they are still consuming the content in the video format which is produced on TV. And Sam, it is for us to discuss, which also Balki slightly mentioned it, but he was, because he was, I think he was very angry with the way the creativity is, so he could not emphasize on that point. But look at it, what is happening in our system? What are we calling digital? A mode of signal delivery to the same content. So today, let's say assume that on an average, a TV news channel is delivering 50 to 60 million through traditional cable network, about 20 million of them are watching on connected devices, whether through YouTube, their own connect apps, or, or et cetera. So uh, the emergence of CTV and other ways of consuming content have only brought a new set of on-demand audience. And we say fresh eyeballs are now watching TV content, be it YouTube, Meta, or through connected TV. Initially for TV business, and this is, a, this is a very important point for advertisers, advertising agencies, and us. That for you know, hundreds of years, Sam, the system was a very close-knit system. We produced content. We went to advertising agencies to sell space between the two content break to sell ads. And looking at the platform, creative companies designed ads, which Balki also spoke about, and then we inserted into that platform. Whether it is an IPL, whether it is a news channel, or a documentary program, people used to wait for the World This Week or the Pranav Royce program until he last anchored. There was a symbiotic relationship between the client, agency, and publisher. It was a close group. An agency plays a very important role in bridging this gap between content creators and brands. As I said, the ecosystem of publisher, advertiser, and client was a closed loop. So for example, even in newspaper business, when the newspaper was produced, it was put on a cart which you to, used to own. It used to deliver to the delivery boy which, you, which was your employee. That delivery boy finally gave it to a hawker which used to work for you and deliver it at your home. What in your famous uh, lecture on Subhash Gosal Memorial Lecture, what Arun Puri pointed out that print is the only business where it continues to get distributed even if someone is not consuming. But it was a close-knit system. And that is how the advertising delivery happened. Advent of digital era has disrupted all of this. The power of distribution has gone out of the hand of the media owners. And that is not the only problem for media owners. It is reflecting in your ADEX report and decline in advertising, decline in the creativity, and et cetera. In a nutshell, if a brand walked up to me today through an agency and just asked me where they want to place the product on our network, and I could manage the supply to assure the client that when ex where exactly ads are placed. The client knows that which kind of audience it is reaching. Agency knows what kind of audience it is reaching. It can observe it physically by watching it. Today, if you place an ad, and I can share an example with you of our own campaign. It is human nature that what you don't consume yourself, it is very difficult to assume others are enjoying it. Okay. At AVP Network, like all media companies, in your list there are media companies who are on top advertising categories in top 50 or top 20. We also advertise a lot. And once we decided that we'll only take meta platform for advertising, and we spent tons of money for that. I have my uh, colleagues sitting here who were a party to it, and we targeted a group of people, advertising community between the age group of 25 to 40, 
largely working in multinational and uh, I wanted three times that ad to be seen. Our agency, India's largest media company, they said that you have reached five times, job is done. After which we went for a presentation to a big beverage client in Gurgaon and we had targeted Gurgaon. And the first slide, my colleague had put that ad. And one of my other colleagues said, why are you putting this ad in the first place? Because they must have seen it. Let's move to the second slide once they come. I said, I bet upon you. And I put a bet on that. I said 50,000 rupees. The other person said, no, it's heavy, 10,000. I said, okay. Three people walked in. All three of you uh, are well known to most of us. And they said, what is this ad about? And I asked them, are you not on Facebook? They said, yeah. Did not you see this ad? He says, no. And that is the difference between placing an ad on television and digital. We have a very large digital business, which I'm coming to that, and how it can, we can help this work. Currently, the predominant digital platforms are overshadowing the traditional disruption channel with a significant shift of power towards the big tech companies. Distribution mechanism have become more complex and advertising serving technologies has undergone substantial changes resulting into a, what we call the degree of chaos in the industry. Creativity, which Balki spoke about, a cornerstone of media has suffered. And we all realize this. As clients have expressed dissatisfaction with the current digital scenario, advertisers whose primary goal is to create demand for its users find themselves grappling with the new challenges presented by the digital landscape. As a publisher, we don't control our own inventory today because that power has been taken away from us by the big tech. They decide that what you are going to watch. And I'll give you another interesting data. Fiki data, government of India data is showing that digital consumption in India is going up, right? People are consuming more and more content on digital and I'm, I'm seeing him here, he's going to present it next. Uh, the e-commerce has gone up, the use of e-rupee has gone up, e-money e has gone up, uh, digital penetration has gone up, mobile penetration has gone up. But what they are showing is that the, the media consumption through the traditional media owners have declined. How is that possible? So as a publisher, because we don't control our inventory, they own the, both the supply side and demand side, I am not in a position to tell you with all honesty that I can provide the demography and the geography that you are asking for. So can we reverse this funnel? There is a growing realization that power needs to be reclaimed from the big tech companies. And there must be an advocacy for shift through regulatory mechanism. And the aim is to restore the balance in the news industry. Let us look at the duopoly of Google and Meta in the current Indian market. As per the Comscore, the news information space is also encroached by Meta and Google with at least 90% or more penetration in the total internet audience. They are supposed to have some overarching uh, users and some share of revenue through uh, different boundaries to overlap. But if you look at the profit and loss statement and revenues of Google, it would be outbidding all of us combined. There should be a call to reverse this funnel because there is, there is no incentive for media owners to produce content which is engaging. I do not know how we are going to create an environment for a healthy advertising. In a recently released DNY report at DNPA Conclave, it highlighted that digital media is generating advertising revenue totaling to about 40, 41,000 crore in India. However, news generating companies received a 4% a share out of this. I do not have the data right now, but I can safely tell you about 70%, 65 to 70% of the consumption on Google and Meta has happened because of news items. Okay. It is just about 1,500 crore for my digital news publisher association out of that 48, 40, 41,000 crore. ENY also reports that 44% of the revenue of digital publisher is also allocated towards customer acquisition and technology development. So what is happening now is that, that because they arrive at an algorithm to reach to a certain consumer, you change your backend at the publishing side to reach to those consumer. By the time you have invested, gone to the market, and slowly starts getting advertising, they change the algorithm. And they say, now you work on this new algorithm. 
because this is this is what will take us to uh, to the new set of audience basically what we have done we have expanded our operation entering the digital sphere and the cost of expansion was thrown on the media owners the inventories are created through our digital content again coming at our expenses and we also spend lot to acquire new users through these intermediaries what is called the big tech now when the turn is to get a sizable share of the revenue generated which has been riding on our back all this time we get only a small portion and my i do not know how many of us know this but a 100 rupees spent by an advertiser on digital medium less than 20 rupees comes to a publisher the medium has just reversed in for hundreds of years that money was 80 rupees my friends and geo are trying to turn it around and i hope they are able to do it uh, sooner than later uh, but this is the this is the major issue today in the industry what incentive a publisher has got to create content suitable for your advertising in a digital digital environment when out of 100 rupees client is spending we are only getting 20 and earlier we were getting 80 so that is why i am proposing that let us go back to our original ways for tv or digital if you want anything to be delivered to any kind of audience let's deal directly we can create those environment for you what you call we will deliver as media owners publishers across the country instead of approaching big tech for buying programmatic advertising or performance marketing if you reach to the publisher they can actually guarantee you saying that this is the audience i will i will show it to you so seamlessly through newspaper television and on the same platform on digital you know that this is where you are consuming and sam i'll also use this in this platform to tell it to our publishing partners what has happened is that that i was delivering news in a particular house through hawker through cable right when big tech came they said look this is your delivering already i am going to a new environment i am reaching out to the new set of consumer and hence you come and start curating content for them instead of looking at it in the same household while the elderly are watching television and reading newspapers the youngsters are not doing so so instead of reaching to them they started expanding the market and reaching out to more number of people by creating content saying that it's it's for the young age there is no creativity which is not liked across age group and there is no news item which are not relevant across age group it is only created by mindless algorithms that that we that we that companies are marketing and selling this i mean if it's watching 2 seconds for an ad is counted as an ad watched while on television we are saying 1 minute watch is an ad watch then what kind of creativity difference that we are we are talking about in the market will never be able to solve this problem and that is why it is very important that we reach out to the publisher the advertising agency client and publisher should work together and say that look we will create this environment to to reach out to x amount of audience and that uh, we will use the big tech we are not saying that we will not use the big tech we will use the same big tech to reach to our audience in the same household where we are delivering television and newspaper and that is and if it does this does not change this change is not done by the big tech itself by giving us 80% of our money then what union minister anurag thakur just said the other day that if they cannot play the if they want to play the role of a god like then we are going to act Union Minister of State for Electronics and Information Technology Rajiv Chandrasekhar ji said that there is an asymmetry between the digital news publisher and a big tech platforms over revenue sharing model and he said that if you don't solve this problem sooner we will act so it is not the first time that the big tech and publisher will go out for an all out battle it has already happened in australia canada france and european union and we have taken initiative through our own legislative procedure to act on it australia's head on collision against uh, tech giants over the news media bargaining code is something to be very closely looked at and it's very interesting when they went ahead australia faced a threat from google and facebook including the potential loss of access to the google's uh, search engine facebook in february 2021 wiped news links from their platform causing 13% drop in traffic to the news websites in australia by the way something on a similar scale is already happening in india all my industry friends are here can attest it that instant articles a glorified feature by facebook for publisher is now a thing of the past 
Around 90% of the news links just do not get traction in the Indian market on Facebook handles. It is what Mr. Miller called the post-work America's consumption model of planned adolescence. Back in Australia, even some within the industry argued that the bargaining code was aimed to subsidize the media's struggle with online competition for advertising. Bloomberg, in op-ed, wrote that there is a misdiagnosis of journalism's business model. However, we have outcome from Australia in front of us, and Google and, even, Google and Facebook eventually paid up and struck, struck deals with the news organization. We are right now also talking to regulators here to make this model viable. Both for digital and TV, I am urging all publisher and bodies to be united for advertisers and clients. And my request to them is that you, you let's work together. Three of us can still create those creativity, good content, and reach. Call it a war, if you will, but it will be a civilized war. But for us, three of us has to come together. Remember that Big Tech is focused on grabbing the attention of and engaging with consumers, where the TV and traditional media is oriented towards accuracy and independence. Let us not throw that out. Everything good about the analog world is our race to or for a digital utopia. Let's save journalism, let's save the media, and let's save the creativity. Thank you very much.